Today I will be resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft. I will then be selecting 20 players to build my team, however the salary cap will be turned off. I cannot lie to you, I do love these simple drafts. After we've chosen enough players to build a team, I will assemble them in franchise mode and we will simulate, let's see if we can finally win a Stanley Cup. Which NHL squadron will we be representing for today's draft? We get the Boston Bruins. The spoked B. For the no salary cap draft, I mean, it would have been right if we got Tampa or the Golden Knights, but here we are. Shots fired early in this one. How about you don't tell me what to do? And I also don't want to manage budgets, revenue, relocation. Although relocation is pretty cool. So you're gone, Jackie Moon. Once again, I do admire Jabroni's dedication and desire to be enabled. But no, not happening. And this is a new one. Boom. No salary draft. Can this be the one? I know I've mentioned this before, but I always listen to an NHL heaters playlist while making these videos just because it kind of puts me in the mood. So right now we have Down in the Past from NHL 06. What a melter. We are going to obtain draft pick number 11. I did turn fantasy draft on, right? Okay, good. I was worried for a second there. Number seven. We should definitely have some great players available. Connor McDavid went third. Now that is insane. I've taken him way too many times. I've also taken Panarin a lot, but you know what? I feel like we haven't really had the chance to take Dreisaitl too many times, so he's where I'm leaning right now. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna send it. Let's go, Dreisaitl. I could bring Marshy back to the Bruins, but I won't. I could also bring Allmark or Swayman back to the Bruins. What is going on? John Carlson seems to just put up points. So, I'm gonna take him. They're both center slash left wing. They're both snipers. Will they go well together? I'm not sure. You know what? I am gonna bring Brad back. I could be fabricating this in my head, but I feel like he normally compliments snipers pretty well. So, let's give him a shot. 90 face-offs. He's only got one ability. Hmm. His face-off rating isn't the best at 75, but he's got the gold followed by a bunch of other abilities as well. He could be a good second line center. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna- no, no deliberation, just take players. I'm turning my brain off for this one. I'm just taking players, that's it, that's all. Yeah. See? I just kick Stan. No salary cap? No problem. Sergei Bobrovsky, welcome aboard. This is great. I feel so free right now. I have the luxury that I normally do not. John Carlson is not an offensive defenseman, right? Isn't he two-way? Oh yeah, it's happening. Welcome aboard. Second pair defender, Chris Letang. Who says no? Not me. Oh, you're making 10.5? That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? Me not having a salary crap. My logic has totally changed. Petrie was there, and I was like, yeah, it looks like a good player. But I want to take Orla because he's making the most, and he's also left-handed, so I'm going to do that. Great depth player to have. Absolutely. Evander Kane, get on the team. Do we need centers? Didn't really think about that. We have two. Did we take Malkin? We did, right? Jordan Eberle, I was trying to find any sneaksters with some abilities down here, and I did. And you are joining the team. Our time is here. We are winning the Stanley Cup. Make my words. Flower as a backup? Yes. 6.25. I don't know why the other teams are not taking whoever they want, because the salary cap is evidently off, and normally they do. But it's not going to stop me from doing that. Radko Agudis. Oh yeah, it's done. It is a done deal. I saw a comment, it actually had a ton of thumbs up saying that just like normal drafts, and that's awesome because I'm totally down to just hang out and do these simple drafts. Obviously the ones using my website and stuff, I also like doing, but it is great to mix in videos like this where I can just turn my brain off and essentially just have fun. 92 face-offs, is that any good? Spoiler alert, yes it is, and also, you are now a Boston Bruin. We need a left-handed defender, and we're done with the decor, so I'll probably just wipe that out now. Oh, you have an ability? And you shoot left? Doesn't even matter what your salary is. Get on the team! Another centerman with really good face-offs, Jordan Stahl. You better win some draws for us. We only need two more forwards. I could make them specifically right-wingers, but Anders Lee's making $7 million, so I'm not gonna go just for right-wingers. Cam Atkinson would be an interesting player, but I kind of feel like taking Marcus Foligno. He always fights. He's left-wing slash right-wing grinder. 
Yeah, my mind's been made. Sim the entire draft. Get this screen out of here. Look at that squadron. I wonder how over the salary cap we actually are. Now that I think about it, we might be able to see that from the contract screen. Nope. We cannot see that. What about in the trading screen? I'm just trying to think of everywhere the salary cap comes up. Nope, it's also NA here. That's awesome. I just wanted to do like a money ball comparison, you know? Compare the payrolls. Moment of truth. Let's edit the lines. You better be good. You better have some chemistry. Oh, do they ever. Get out of here, jabroni. Say très bien. Holy, we've got a roster. Now how about that defensive chemistry? We take that. That is fine. Martinez on the first pair is interesting. And how about this? Okay, hold on. Let me try to shuffle some things up here and see what we can cook. Plus two and plus three. I don't necessarily love Ghost being on the final pair, but it might be a sacrifice I have to make. And last but not least, tending the goal, we have Sergei Bobrovsky backed up by Mark Andre. I did not know Bobrovsky was 35. I thought he was younger than that, but you know what? I guess I remember TSN even when I was younger. Bobrovsky! So, yeah, that checks out. I still don't know who is who, but I think it was Jay and Dan, one of them, that used to always say his name funny. We're gonna get 47 wins, is gonna get 98 points, and we win the Stanley Cup. Once and for all. It's coming home! Okay, whoa, 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 time out! How are you gonna go and lose the first game? How are you gonna do that to me? I'm standing right here. Answer me. It will certainly be interesting to see what the other playoff teams look like as well, because it didn't really appear to me that other teams were trying to bend the salary cap, but normally they do. I've most definitely done this draft on other NHLs before, and from what I recall, I feel like it was one of the harder ones, because the other teams just built super squads with their no salary cap. Well, you know what? Two can play that game. First in the division by... Quite a bit right now. 11-2 win over Colorado. You didn't have to do them like that. That's just rude. Three L's in a row, but then we go and win two in a row, but then we lose two in a row. But then we win two in a row. Make that three. Oh, go on. Really, Toronto? What's the trade deadline look like in this situation? Yeah, there's not really a whole lot available. Whoa! Well, whoever did that's fired. Horvat, Sherratt, fourth and a sixth. Headed to Calgary for two firsts. Zaitsev and Marcheseau catching the next flight to Seattle. And they gave up Dower Nilsson, Lamoureux, a second and a second. Just letting the boys cook right now. We are getting more than 50 wins. That is almost a guarantee. We're at 49 already. And we just entered April. Don't you dare. Okay. I just envisioned we were about to lose every game for some reason. 54 wins on the regular season, and we've got the New York Rangies in round number one. We did win the division with 116. Detroit finished second, 11 points behind us, and then Tampa snuck in with 85. That's a party foul. Boom, there it is, President's Trophy, but that does not mean a thing. I won't be happy and- Ow! I won't be- <laughs> I will not be sad- <laughs> I simply will not be content. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. Let's go bees! 8.17 a.m., you know. 19th place. You know what? We've seen worse, so I'll let you off the hook this time. I don't know what NHL game this was in. Who did the Smashville Predators draft with no salary cap? They got... Ah, uh, their defense, all right. Fox, Ekblad, Brady Kachuk. They brought back Soros. Captain Marshy leads the team with 96 points, and Pavelski gets 96 as well. 49 tucks for Malkin? What a mad lad. Look at this plus minus category. Can't say I'm too impressed with you there, Johnny T. What's up? 58.4 for faceoff percentage, though, so I'm kind of in. Pavelski had. Huh? Oh, he didn't take a lot. That checks out. Dry saddle 55.3. Yeah. We accept that. Still had a 57.5. Good stuff. Both netminders played phenomenal. 917 from Bob. 921 from Flurry. Great GAAs. Two shutouts apiece. John Carlson got 43 points this time. So not his best showing. But to be fair, we did have a lot of great offensive players. So maybe he was kind of limited. Former Capital and former Bruin. Dmitry Orlov, 41 points. 
37 for Latang. I did not draft TJ Brody. Not that it really matters. But who... Wait, did I? Sure enough, there he is. I don't know how I didn't see this before. It was Radko. What happens if I put him in? Ooh. Sure. Our first round opponent, the New York Rangers. I heard they were on the beach playing football before this series. Jared McCann, Tage Thompson, and Owen Tippett. That's okay. They've got Slavkovsky, Lundell, and Fogel. We got this in the bag. I don't even care what their defense looks like. Yeah, you're done. You're absolutely finished. GG, no re. First three games, everybody knows the rules. Okay. Okay. It is going to be like that, isn't it? We won one finally. Don't you dare. Okay. Can we take the win and have the advantage in the best of three? Oh. <laughs> I can't lie to you, I was worried for a second there. Next up is my dad's squadron, the Detroit Red Wings. He didn't play for them or anything, he just likes them. Jonathan Huberto, eight points in that first round series. Legend. He just needed a change of scenery, PLD style. Chandler Stevenson, Steven Stamkos, Nikita Kucherov. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? This guy seems like the biggest beauty from pretty much anything I've seen, so good for you, Seth. Marco and Ivan Barbashev are his line mates. The man that fooled me twice in the scrambled name draft. Sergachev and Larson. I, we got this. Come on. There's no way we lose this series. It just doesn't happen. Everybody knows the rules. First three games. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we are in fact losing this series. What a joke. I'm going into this kind of sim, but I'm simply doing first, second, and third period. We had... Just, just lose. Okay, we're going to overtime. I would go watch it, but it's not even, like, important. It's pretty much, if we win this, we have to win three more. No, you guys haven't earned a watch party yet. All right, we push one more game. Reverse sweep? You won't do it. First period results in a 1-1 game. 3-2 for Detroit. All right, I'll at least go real time for this. Power play goal for Pavelski. It's all knotted up. Don't you dare go to overtime again. I don't think my achy breaky heart can handle it. Another power play? Another peeper? No. Five minutes left. Next goal wins. It's pretty much going to be that. We kill it off. That's huge. I don't believe it. It looks like we're about to see a sweep in the Stanley Cup final. But what is so good about City starting with C? Huh? Let's go find out. Yeah, it's a pretty good team. They got Jeff Skinner, Reinhardt, and Patrick Kane. Sagan, Horvat, and Trevor Segris. And they have Kreider on the third line. That's wild. Their defense is mid. And what do you have in net? Ah, okay. Fair enough. Carolina's got Nate Dog. That's all you need to know. Dougie Hamilton on the second pair with Grizzlick. They got Pionk, Montour, McDonough, and in net, Freddie Anderson. They brought him back. Let's see if they get swept. Advance a day. There was no game. They did. Wow. That's lame. This guy did amazing. 13 points in 11 playoff games. He was a dash three. What is Dreisaitl doing? How do you get six points? That is totally unacceptable. Apparently, I should have moved. I should have rearranged the lines. And Huberto should have gone up. Minus five. You're brutal. Can't believe it. Even Jonathan Taves got more points than Dreisaitl. John Carlson did pretty good, though. Eight points. Bobrovsky just could not get it done in the lofts. That is a rough look right there. Ilya Sorokin had just under a 920 save percentage. 266 GAA. Two shutouts. He played outstanding. Dougie Hamilton leads defenseman with 17 points. And we got Devin Taves with 14, but... Did it in 12 games. Did Dougie start in Carolina? I feel like he did, right? Or wait, no. I Was he on Boston at some point? Was it Boston and then Carolina and then New Jersey? Am I making this up? I had no idea that he was a part of the Calgary Flames. For three seasons. But it did go Boston, Calgary, Carolina, New Jersey. That was kind of close. 29 points for Tyler Sagan. 29 points for Bo Horvat. 
Which one is going to get the con Smythe? Probably Sagan, because he had 13 goals. And nearly a 20 shooting percentage. Zegris had 25 points, 84 overall. Reinhardt had 25. We can hold on to this at least. We got one piece of hardware. Art Hart is split again. Seems to be happening a lot recently. Pasta gets the art. Pasta get... I don't know what's happening with my brain right now. Pasta gets the art. Matthews gets the heart. Was that so hard? Quinn Hughes gets the Norris. Pasta with the Lady Bang. The Calder goes to Bedsy. They did award Horvat with the Con Smythe. Sorokin gets the Vesna. And the Jennings goes to Bob. How you doing? Flurry got snubbed. I'm pretty sure he played like 24 games. He must have been so close. Peak gets the Bill Masterton. Pronger with the Jack Adams. Barkov awarded the Selkie. Ted Lindsay going to Pappy. And last but not least, we got Pasta with the Rocket Richard. I present to you your playoff tree. A sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals. I don't know why that was so easy for them after they went six games, six games, seven games. Detroit rinsed Tampa in the first round. Then they rinsed us and then they got deleted by the Carolina Hurricanes who then got deleted by the Calgary Flames. So weird. But say la vie, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you guys. I hope you're having fun with these drafts that don't really have a whole lot of thing going on, whole lot of two. <laughs> a lot of stuff I would normally cut out. I'm just going to leave in so you can see what I have to go through when I'm editing. Anyway, if you could like and subscribe, that would be fire. Wouldn't hear a complaint from me. I challenge you to try the no salary cap draft and let me know how yours goes. On top of that, if you have other draft challenges, let me know whether it be complex or simple because right now, We'll take whatever we can get. If nothing else, I hope this video was at least entertaining. Alrighty. See you soon.